Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Very good. Oh, I feel fine, teacher. Excellent. So, hello, Ivan. Hello, Jaime, Leslie, Samuel, Maria Dolores, Jose Alberto, Andrea, Francisco Antonio, and Damaris. Welcome to the class. Uh, it's nice hello. to see you tonight. Uh, I'm sorry to come a little bit late, but I had some uh, troubles with my internet connection. But I hope it works the rest of the class. So yesterday we were studying about the simple past. Ayer estuvimos hablando acerca del pasado simple, right? Y también estuvimos aprendiendo acerca de los verbos regulares o irregulares. Were they regular or irregular? Regular. Okay, regular birds. Let's see, for example, yesterday we studied the following birds. What is this bird? Let me see an example here. Okay, a start. What is the meaning of this bird? Do you know the meaning of this bird? Start. Comienzo, inicio. Yes, you are right. Thank you so much. Now, what is the simple past? Starter. Ok, I need to add, como es un verbo regular para hacer el pasado, ¿qué necesito agregarle a este verbo? ED. Ok, ED. Y la pronunciación de ese ED que le agregué va a ser... Started. Ok, ED es de pronunciación. Started. 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 What about the next? What is the meaning of the next bird? Dance. Dance. Baile. Dance. Baile, bailar. Dance. Okay, excellent. Thank you. It means bailar. Now in past, this bird and in letter E. Termina en la letra E. What do I need to add to make it in simple past things? Dancing. Dancing. Just the. Just the. Yes, you are right. And what is the pronunciation? Dance. Dance. Danced. Danced. With T sound at the end. Dance. Okay, now let's see the other example. Let's see this example. Just give me a second. I'm looking for a verb. Okay, here we go with the right sound. We have with T sound and also with D sound. Look at this. What is the meaning of this? Bird arrive. Arrive. Llegada. Llegar, muy bien, llegar. En pasado, termina en eso, lo agrego del arrive. Y el sonido final sería con it, t or d sound. What do you think? Con t, arrive. Con t. With d sound. Con t. Eh, ok, este verbo termina en el sonido de la V. Arrive. Arrive. Hay una vibración, ¿verdad? En nuestra garganta. Es a voice sound. En ese caso voy a utilizar the sound of the end. Arrive. Ok, now let's see this. Vamos a hacer una oración. I start. I started. I started. Ya tengo una oración en pasado. Yo comencé. Si quiero agregar un complemento. I started the race. Yo comencé la. 
I started the race. La carrera. Muy bien. I danced cumbia. I danced cumbia last Christmas. Okay, what is the meaning of this sentence? What is the meaning? I danced cumbia last Christmas. I arrived late yesterday. Bueno, de esa manera hacíamos oraciones en pasado simple utilizando subject, the verb in simple past, and a complement. Así hacemos oraciones en el pasado simple. O un sujeto, el verbo en pasado. Y un complemento. I started the race. Comencé la carrera. I danced cumbia last Christmas. I arrived late yesterday. Llegué tarde ayer. I arrived late yesterday. También ayer aprendimos cómo hacer oraciones negativas. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir yo no estudié para el examen. ¿Cómo hago esta oración? El sujeto. Did. Más el did, que sería en el pasado. Ok. Eh, luego el, el verbo, pero sin, sin cambiarlo. Solo el muy verbo. Okay. Y lo del complemento. Y el de complemento. Ok, excelente. Thank you so much. I didn't study for the test. Así nos quedaría la oración. Thank you so much. I didn't study for the test. Now let's see. I didn't. I didn't cook. ¿Está correcta esta oración? I didn't cook. No. 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 El verbo como debe de, o sea, como se escribe sin el pasado. Ok, sin conjugar. Excelente. I didn't cook the dinner. Thank you. Thank you so much. Daddy. Soy negativa. Ok. El, es una oración negativa. Así lo hacemos. Sujeto, auxiliar did, más not, contractado es didn't. El verbo, ¿verdad? Sin conjugar. Study and cook en estos ejemplos. Y el complemento. Very good job. Thank you. Eso aprendimos el día de ayer. ¿verdad? Regular verbs. Esta noche vamos a seguir aprendiendo acerca del pasado simple. Solo que vamos a estudiar los verbos irregulares. Irregular verbs. Por ahí les compartí un PDF, ¿verdad? En el grupo de WhatsApp. Ya le dieron una miradita. No, no yet. Ok. Ahí hay una lista de verbos irregulares y verbos regulares. They are going to help you a lot. So, usted, ¿verdad? Puede programarse en aprenderse cinco, cinco verbos diarios, diez verbos diarios. Eh, and you are going to increase your vocabulary too. Va a incrementar mucho su vocabulario. Si comienza a aprenderse los verbos. The verbs are really important when learning a new language. Los verbos son muy importantes cuando estamos estudiando una, un, un nuevo idioma. Then, let's start with the night class. Pero antes de ir al tema del día de hoy, do you have any question about the platform exercises? Any question about the platform? No questions? No? No problems there? No question. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Then let's start with the night class. Simple pass with irregular verbs. Ayer les mencionaba que la diferencia entre los verbos uh, regulares e irregulares es la manera en que ellos forman su forma en el pasado simple. Los verbos regulares agregamos ed a algunos de ellos, d a los que terminan en e. También agregamos I y D, ¿verdad? Los que terminan consonante las Y. 
los verbos regulares, irregulares, perdón, en cambio, eh, cada verbo forma su propia forma, tiene su propia forma en el pasado. Entonces, esa es la dificultad. Tenemos que aprendernos uno por uno. ¿verdad? No hay ninguna regla, no hay ninguna fórmula. No nos queda más que aprendernos de una lista, uno por uno. Let's start with tonight's topic. The topic for tonight is simple past with irregular appearance. And this is the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular pairs. So let's start with this. Take a look at these examples. <clears throat> let's listen then. Listen and follow the reading. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Okay, in the first examples, I have did. What is that bear? I did my homework. Ese es el pasado do. simple de cual verbo? Thank you, Maria do. Dolores. Yes. Do. do. Es el pasado do. de do. I did my homework. Sería, yo hice mi tarea. I didn't do laundry. Look at the picture atrás del niño behind the boy. There are a lot of dirty clothes. Hay mucha ropa sucia. Sí le quedó tiempo para estudiar, pero ya no le alcanzó para llevar la ropa a la lavandería. Entonces, I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. Second example, you got up at noon. ¿A qué hora se despertó este chico? Ten. Quiero por ten. A mediodía. Se despertó al mediodía. You didn't get up at ten. No te levantaste hasta las diez. Se levantó hasta el mediodía. There are examples. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. Él fue al museo. Él no fue a la biblioteca. 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 Thank you. Next example. We met our classmate. We didn't meet our teacher. Conocimos a nuestros compañeros de clase. Nosotros no conocimos a nuestros. Maestro. A nuestro maestro. You came home late. You came home late. You didn't come home early. Tú llegaste a casa tarde. Tú no llegaste temprano. They have a picnic. They didn't have a party. Ellos tuvieron mm. un picnic. Ellos no tuvieron una fiesta. Una fiesta. Now, look at this bird. Tengo do en el primer ejemplo, ¿verdad? Sería el verbo do. Conjugado en el pasado es did. Esa es su forma. El siguiente es el verbo get, get up, que significa levantarse. En el tercero tengo el verbo go, que es el verbo go, en pasado es when. En el número cuatro el verbo es meet, el pasado es met. En la siguiente imagen tengo came, el verbo es come. Y por último tengo el verbo have. En pasado es hat. Como pueden observar, cada verbo tiene su propia forma en pasado. Do, el pasado es did. Get up, el pasado es got up. Go, el pasado es when. Meet, el pasado es met. Come, came. And have, had. That is the difficult part uh, learning irregular parents. Tenemos que aprendernos uno por uno, ¿verdad? That is 
That is a little bit difficult, but I'm sure teacher, that you can do it. Yes? Teacher, ¿podría escribir el pasado de los verbos, porfa? De, de cada uno de ellos? Si se puede. Ah, ok, está acá. Mire, do es este, did es el pasado. Get up, acá está el pasado. Go up. Gracias, teacher. Go is when, ok. Meet. Met. Come, came. And have a hat. Okay. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Eh, en, cuando conocen a los compañeros de. De cuarto es la una, dos, tres, en la cuatro. Y después conocen al teacher. Hay, do, hay dos pronunciaciones en el verbo. Eh, es por la, porque una lleva doble E y la otra solo una E. ¿va? La primera es met. Así es. We met Ahí, our classmate. Ajá. Y abajo sería... We didn't, we didn't meet. Ajá. Ahí cambia, ¿verdad? Sí, de así ella. es. Cambia la pronunciación. Met, okay. meet. Ok. Excellent. Thank you, man, for your question. Very good observation. Any other question? Una pregunta. Y eso se da en, en varias, en varias, varios verbos, varias palabras. La M se pronuncia como E y cuando es doble E se pronuncia como, se pronuncia IVA. Y así es, mid. Así es. Sí, ya vamos a ver algunos otros ejemplos donde cambia la pronunciación de los verbos porque le hace falta una letra okay. ya, con una letra que le falta ya cambia la pronunciación thank you so much for your question ok, do you have any question in this part? if no, let's continue let's go with the next I did my homework ok, take a look at this information Unfortunately, there isn't any rule to form the simple past of irregular verbs. You have to learn them from a list and you have to memorize every single verb past form. Take a look at the following verbs. Desafortunadamente, no hay una regla para formar el pasado de los verbos irregulares. We need to study them from a list and we have to memorize them. So let's take a look at this example. Do, did, get up, go up, go, when, meet, met, come, came, and have had. Let's see these examples. Any volunteer to practice reading these examples? Who wants to try them? Yeah, teacher. Okay, thank you, Jaime. Do it, please. I did yoga yesterday. You you go you go early. Go up he, early. Go go up. Go up. Go up. You go, go up, up early. Teacher, escucho interferencia. No sé si escuchan los demás. Okay. He went to the shopping mall. She met her classmates. We come home early. They are a birthday party. Thank you so much. I have another two volunteers. Let me see. Thank you, Jaime. Excellent job. So I have Maria Dolores. Do you want to try or do you have a question? I have a try. Okay. Let's start then. Okay. I did yoga yesterday. You got up early. She went to the shopping mall. She meet her class, classmates. We come home early. They have a building party. Excellent job. Thank you. Very good. Just on this bird. Let me point this. 
how do you pronounce this? Can you tell me? Met. Met. Okay. Met is the pronunciation mm -hmm. of this Came. verb in simple past. And what about this other one? Came. Came. Thank you. Came is the pronunciation in past. Thank you. I have another volunteer here, Ivan. Do you have a question or do you want to try? I want to try. Oh, thank you so much. Do it, please. I did yoga yesterday. You get up early. He went to the shopping mall. She met her classmate. We came home early. They had a beer day party. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Thank you, Jaime. Thank you, Maria Dolores and Ivan too. Excellent participation. Thank you. Let's go with the next thing. Now let's see this. Making affirmative sentences using irregular verbs. Es la misma estructura que con los verbos regulares. Subject, a verb in simple past tense, and the complement is the same. I did my homework. You got up at noon. He went to the museum. We met our new teacher. They came home late. You had a picnic. What is the subject in this sentence? He. He is the subject, thank you. What is the verb in simple past? When. When. In the complement? To the museum. To the museum. To the museum. Esa es la estructura que vamos a seguir. Do you have a question in this part? No, no question? No question. No question, okay, thank you. Let's go with the next then. Okay, do you know the correct password of the following birds? Let's take a look at the birds in this list. I have eat, sing, take, find, see, make, sit, and write. Do you know the simple past tense? It ate. Thank you. It ate. What else seeing? Song. Song. Sing sa song. They took. They took. What about fine? Hey, found. 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 Found, yes. See. So. So, okay, excellent. Made. 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 Sit. Sat. Sat. Right. 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 Okay, let's see if you're right. Oh, do you know the meaning of them? It, for example, what is the meaning in Spanish of this verb? Comer. Comer. Comer, okay. Which verb means ver in English? Sí. Sí. Which verb means sentarse? Sit. Sí. Which verb means escribir? Right. right. Y cantar? Right. Sing. Sí. Sing. Sí. Sí. Okay. Hacer. Sí. Make. 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 Okay. Let's see if you're right. Here are the simple past tense of this bird. It a sing sun take took find found see so make made. Sit, sat, write, wrote. Bro. Okay. ¿Dónde han visto este verbo? Made in. <laughs> no, no, Made no. in Salvador. Okay. Casi en todos los productos, ¿verdad? Donde dice made in Taiwan, made in China, made in the United States, made in eh, Japan, etc. Now let's say a look at this example. I ate a cake. We sang too much last night. 
I took an English class yesterday. I found your keys under the table. He saw the new movie yesterday. She made a cake. It was delicious. I sat on the old chair and it broke. He wrote a letter to his wife. Any new vocabulary in these examples? No. No hay palabras nuevas, no hay vocabulario nuevo. No, teacher. Okay, that's great, very good. Then let's go practicing then. Any volunteer to practice example one, two, and three, please? I have two volunteers. Ivan, one, two, and three. Jose Alberto, four, yeah. five, and six. And Julio yeah, yeah. Cesar. Julio Cesar, one, two, and three again. So let's start. I ate a cake we sang too much last night. I took an English class yesterday. I found your keys under the table. He saw the new movies yesterday. She made a cake. It was delicious. Next, please. Julio Cesar. I sat on the old chair and the, it's broken. He wrote a letter to his wife. Excellent. Thank you so much. What is the meaning of this sentence? I sat on the old chair and it broke. Me senté en la silla y se quebró. Okay. En la silla, it's an adjective here. Okay. He wrote a letter to his wife. ¿Alguna vez lo hicieron? ¿Escribieron una carta? Yes, sir. Yes. Ah, okay. Excellent. You are a romantic guy. Very good. Okay. Any question in this part? So affirmative sentences, subject, verb in simple past, and complement. Don't forget about that structure. Okay, how to make negative statements using irregular verbs. Otra vez, la misma estructura, ¿verdad? Que con los verbos regulares. Subject, didn't, verb in the present, complement. El verbo sin conjugar. I didn't take many pictures. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. She didn't go fishing. You didn't eat fruit. They didn't do their homework. We didn't buy a new smartphone. So sad. I didn't take many pictures. So subject didn't divert eh, sin conjugar many pictures, the complement. The tour guide is the subject, auxiliary did, plus not, the verb speak, and in Spanish, the complement. She, the subject, didn't, uh, the auxiliary didn't, go, the verb, and fishing. What is the subject in this sentence? They didn't do their homework. They. 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 Uh, what is the verb? Do. Do. Okay. Kind of easy, right? So you have just to learn this structure. Si se aprende esta estructura, las estructuras gramaticales, you are going to make sentences uh, very easy. Right? So we need to study this part. And also the verbs. You have to learn all the verbs. There are a lot of verbs. Any question in this part? Okay, to volunteer to practice in this part. Who wants to read ex example one, two, and three? Thank you, Samuel. Uh, this I didn't take many pictures. Uh, the tall guy didn't speak Spanish. 
he didn't go fishing. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Damaris, can you help me please with the next three sentences? Okay, teacher. You didn't eat fruit. They didn't do their homework. We didn't buy a new smartphone. Excellent. Thank you so much. They didn't do. They didn't do their homework. Okay, excellent. Now, they didn't do their homework. Thank you. Excellent. Samuel and Damaris, excellent job. Let's continue. In which one? Uh, they didn't do their homework. Oh, homework is tarea. Tarea. Okay. Ellos no hicieron su tarea. Su tarea. Okay. Thank you. Any other question in this part? Easy? Easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. Okay, that's great. Very good. Okay, now question. How to make yes, no question? Oh, yo quiero saber si fue al parque, si Iván fue al parque ayer. Entonces le pregunto, did you go to the park yesterday? Yes, I did. And, ok, entonces Iván tiene dos opciones para responder. Yes, I did. Es la uh, respuesta afirmativa. En no, I didn't. Es la respuesta negativa. Veamos, Damaris, did you cook lunch today? Did you cook the lunch today? No, I didn't, teacher. No, okay, no, I didn't. I bought it. Lo compré hecho. Ya lo compré. So, Jose Alberto, did you dry your car today? Yes. Yes, I yes, did. I yes, I did. Leslie, this, did you wash your clothes today? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Maria Dolores, did you go to the dentist today? No, I didn't. Okay, let's see. Samuel, did you listen to music today? Yes, uh, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Andrea, did you watch a movie today? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. So as you can see, did you? Así comenzamos las preguntas con este auxiliar. Con el auxiliar did al principio de la pregunta, después va el sujeto, the subject, then the verb en presente, and the complement. Y finalmente no nos olvidemos del question mark, el signo de pregunta. Look at this example. Did you go shopping on the weekend? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Esta pregunta es para una tercera persona, para él. Did he go to the beach last vacation? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did she eat eggs and beans for the breakfast? Desayunó ella huevos y frijoles. Yes, she did. Or no, she didn't. Did they write a letter? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Any question in this part? No question? No question. No question. Okay. Take a look at this. Do we study English today? Yes, What is I the did. answer? Yes, we did. Okay, yes. We did. Yes, we did. We do. Yes, we do. did. did. Si usted no estudió o si nosotros no hubiésemos estudiado sería no. I didn't. No, we didn't. We didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Okay, no question in this part. 
No. Okay, let's continue then. Okay, now let's pay attention to the pronunciation of the verb in this conversation. Let's listen the conversation. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Any new vocabulary in this conversation? Any new words? What about horses? What is the meaning of that word? Teacher. Yes. Uh, hiking. Hiking is caminata. Hiking, caminata. Ir a caminar. Any other word? So this conversation is between Laura and Erika. And she said, so did you go anywhere last summer? It's a question. It's a yes, no question. Did you go anywhere last summer? What is the meaning of anywhere? Any idea? En cualquier lado. Si fueron a cualquier lado. Okay. ¿Fuiste a algún lugar el verano pasado? Yeah. And then you say, yes, I did. Erika responde, yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. ¿Con quién fue a Arizona? Con su hermano. Su hermana. Okay, with her sister. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? It's another yes, no question. Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? Another yes, no question. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Another yes, no question. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Where did they go? ¿A dónde fueron ellas? Where did they go? Some. To Arizona. And what did, what did they do there? The Grand Canyon. See the Grand Canyon, rode a horse, and... White weather rafting. Okay, white weather rafting. Colorado River. Oh, on the Colorado River, okay. Now, can you identify some birds in this conversation? Sister, yo una pregunta. Mm -hmm. eh, cuando dice when white water rafting, ese es un lugar que se llama así, o es, porque no entiendo de verdad que. Okay, white water rafting is this sport which is in the picture. Es este deporte que está ilustrado acá. White water rafting. White water rafting. Es como los rápidos, andar en, rápido, es, en los ríos. Como navegar en los ríos rápidos. O ir a los rápidos, dicen. So, why were a rafting that is? Uh, aquí okay. en the picture, you can see. Thank you so much. Any other question? So, can you identify some bear in simple past in this conversation? Which one, for sub, example? Sub, okay, when? thank you. Yes, a second. You say so. Went. Up. So is one. Went. When, 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 when. Went to Arizona. My, my sister and I went. Okay, when. Which other one? 
Did love it. Love. No. Did. What is the? Love it. Did. Really? Did you really? like it? Estoy tratando, pero estoy Ok, did you like it? Eh, en este caso, did es un auxiliar, no está como verbo, está como auxiliar. Did you like it? Pero sí es el pasado también de do. Okay. ok, what about this one? What is the meaning of this? Road. Mortar. When. 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 Hat is another one. Yes. Hat. Now let's listen. Pay attention to the pronunciation. Then we're going to practice in this conversation. So let me erase this. Thank you. Good job finding the birds. The simple past birds. Let's see. Here. Now listen. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Who volunteered to practice in this conversation? Who wants to try it? Any volunteer? If not, I'm going to choose. Thank you. I have a Jose Alberto. I have Jose Alberto and Leslie. Thank you so much. So, Jose Alberto, can you please start? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes. I did my sister and I. I went to Arizona when I saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Do you like it? Oh, yes. We love, loved it. Did you hike in there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse and the also went white water rafting on the Colorado rivers. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jose Alberto. Thank you, Leslie. Excellent job. Very good pronunciation. Now let's send Damaris and any other volunteer who wants to practice with Damaris. Any volunteer? If no volunteers, I'm going to choose somebody. Thank you so much, Julio Cesar. So Damaris, uh, can you please start? Yes, teacher. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking here? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse, and we also went to the white water rating on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent. That was almost perfect job. Thank you. Just in this bird, can you help me to pronounce this one, please? Let's see. Here. How do you pronounce this part? And I went. When. When. Okay, my sister and I went to, how do you pronounce this in English? Arizona. Arizona. Okay. Arizona. How do you pronounce this? Grand. Grand Canyon. 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 Grand, Grand, Canyon. Canyon. Grand Canyon. How do you pronounce this? I like it when he pronounced this part. Love we loved it. it. We loved it. We loved it. Okay, thank you. What about this word? Actually. 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 Excellent. And what is the meaning of this word? Actually. 
Actual. Does it meaning actual o actualmente? Okay. Actualmente. Mm. Pero, en ese, pero en esa oración. Ok, no, no, really. Actually es un falso amigo, como le decimos a las palabras que se parecen en español. Uh -huh. eh, actually means en realidad. Uh -huh. That is the meaning, en realidad. That is the meaning of this word. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next part. So this is a review. A simple past yes no question. Let's take a look at this example. Do you have a good summer? Did you have a good summer? Tuvo usted un buen verano? Yes, I did. I have a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I play tennis. Did Erika like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. So let's listen to this example. Simple past yes, no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, now, did you have a good summer? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo le fue el verano pasado? Did you have a good summer? You, with your own information. Ivan, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Thank you so much. Leslie, did you play volleyball? Yes, I did. I played volleyball. Excellent. Thank you. And then, la siguiente es para tercera persona. Did Erika? Did she like her vacation? Then the answer is yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? Ese es ellos. No, they didn't. Oh, ellas, sorry. Ellas. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Any question in this part? No question. En, en esa, en yes, she did. Oh, she, has, she liked it. Se, se uniría en la, en la pronunciación. I did okay. a lot. Like. Like. It. it. It, no, no se une, entonces. Ok, pay attention to the pronunciation. Let's listen okay. again. Very good question. So let's listen to the pronunciation. Simple past, yes, no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, what sound did you hear in this part? She liked it. Okay, este verbo, la de liked. Liked it. Liked it. Termina el sonido de T, ¿verdad? Liked it. It. Con el sonido it, liked it. She liked it a lot. Entonces, si se une el sonido, ¿verdad? solo que sería una T. T sound here. She liked it a lot. Okay. Is it clear now? Yes? Clear. Okay. Let's go with the next part. Now, help me please. Can you please choose the right answer to complete these sentences? Let's see, A, Tom, a new house last month. Tom compró una casa nueva el mes pasado. What is the answer? Bought. 
Number one. Number two. No. No. Number two. About. Yes. Number two is the right answer. By is an irregular verb. Then the right for in past is bought. You're right. Thank you, Leslie. Letter B. She not understand the question yesterday. She didn't understand. Excellent. Thank you. She didn't understand. Yes. We need the auxiliary did and not in the verb eh, sin conjugar. ¿no? The didn't understand is the right answer. Letter C, Fred, a lot of pictures on his holiday last summer. Two, two. Hey, has taken. Freddy, Fred took. Okay, yes, you're right, thank you. Took is the right answer. Fred took a lot of pictures on his holiday last summer. Letter D. It's a question. What did you get? Ah, okay, for question, well, we need the auxiliary did D. You get? In simple past, what did you get for your birthday? ¿Qué te regalaron para tu cumpleaños? What did you get for your birthday? On the next. Did you win? Where, where did you go last weekend? Did you win? Did you win? Did you win? Where did you no. go? Did you go? Did you go? Yes, did you go? You went. Porque ya va la auxiliar en pasado. Ah, esa pregunta, sí. Ah, ok. ¿Estamos de acuerdo que es la número dos? Yeah? Go. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Want it? Well, I number three, want it, yes. Eh. Okay, number three. Estaban fáciles o difíciles esas preguntas? Very easy. Okay, now here is a little bit more difficult exercise. So take a look at this question. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana pasado? ¿Se acuerdan en la sección número uno aprendimos qué vas a hacer el, el próximo fin de semana? Entonces utilizamos going to. Ahora es lo contrario. ¿Qué hizo el, el fin de semana pasado? ¿Se acuerdan? What did you do last weekend? Que fue un fin de semana bastante largo. What did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hicieron? ¿Qué realizaron en, esa en ese fin de semana? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Qué did you do last weekend? And then you say, I went to the beach, I stayed home with my family, uh, I went shopping, I went to the park, I played soccer, I watched a movie. I listen. I went to the church. I went to the church. Excellent. I ride bike. I went to work. I, I rode my bike. I went to the Suchi Toto. I went to Suchi Toto. ¿A quién le tocó trabajar? I worked. I worked. I worked. I worked. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. I worked. Okay, now let's read. I did a lot of things. Look at this answer. I did a lot of things. He said, muchas cosas. On Saturday, I went shopping. What did you do? Uh, what did you buy? Sorry. What did you buy? ¿Qué compraste? I bought some new clothes. I also played tennis. Who did you play with? 
I play with Tom. Did you win? Of course I won. What did you do after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took a shower and then went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friend Jackie and I ate at the good fort. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoyed our dinner very much. We also drank some wonderful wine. Unfortunately, I didn't go out this weekend. I didn't eat in a restaurant and I didn't play tennis. What did you do? I stay home and study for my test. Poor you. Okay, al final hasta se burla. Pobre de ti, ¿verdad? Solo estuvo en casa. Pobre sí. <laughs> no hizo nada. Eh, Alice sí hizo muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Entre ellas, ¿qué cosas hizo Alice? Okay. She, she went shopping. Se fue de compras. She went shopping. Shopping. What tennis come? Play, play tennis with Tom. With Tom. Excellent. She played tennis with Tom. ¿Qué más hizo? Tomó un baño antes de. de took okay. A and she went took a out. shower and then went out. Y después salió, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. uh, where did she eat? ¿Dónde comió? She ate. She ate at the restaurant. She ate at a restaurant. ¿Cómo se llamaba el restaurante? What is the name of the restaurant? The Good Fork. The Good Fork. Excellent. Eh, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué tomó en el restaurante? Wine. Okay. Wine. She, she drank, drank wine. Some. Wine. Pero no cualquier vino. She drank some wonderful oh, wine. Oh, Un vino maravi... maravilloso. Maravilloso. Y la otra persona. I didn't go out this weekend. No salí este fin de semana. I didn't eat in a restaurant. Uh, I didn't play tennis. Then what? what did you do? Entonces, ¿qué hiciste? I stay home and I study for my... Yeah. Yeah. Ok, igual que los estudiantes de este grupo, ¿verdad? Se quedan en casa a estudiar, a resolver la plataforma. ¿Yes? <ríe> ¿O no? Yes. Ah, yes. ok. Ok, that's Pero great. En la, en la penúltima participación de Robert, esa palabra no, no, no hay cómo pronunciarla. La primera. Um, unfortunately. 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 Ok. Yes. Unfortunately, unfortunately, desafortunadamente. Do you have any question about tonight's class? No questions. Okay. They say drunk. They say we also drank some. ¿Qué significa oh, drunk? Drunk es el verbo drink, tomar. Está en pasado. We also drank. Bebí. También bebimos. Bebimos, tomamos. Some wonderful wine. Okay. Any other question in this part? No. No questions. Okay, that's great. So, can you please tell me what is the difference between regular and irregular verbs? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre los verbos regulares y regulares si sí, regulares ya están hay, hay diferencia existe eh, ah. irregulares write difference ok we write the simple past in different ways right every verb has its own form to make the simple past cada verbo tiene su propia forma de hacer el pasado simple en cambio, los verbos regulares siguen algunas reglas, ¿eh? como agregar ed, de, o ied. That's the difference. So, do you have any question about this topic? Preguntas? No, teacher. 
No question. Okay, tomorrow we are going to take a look of the exercise on the platform. Vamos a revisar el ejercicio referente a este tema en la plataforma el día de mañana. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your help during the class. You did a great job tonight. Thank you so much for your help in the exercises. Thank you for your participation. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good evening. Good night. See you tomorrow, Good teacher. Night. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good evening, teacher. Good night. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. <coughs> Bless you. Hello guys, do you have any question? Can I help you with something? <laughs>